Now let's go step by step and let me show you how I did this and how you can use this exact same example to run your reports. So first of all, what we need to do is, um, so that's the example where we are using the variant. First, let me show you how I did this recording and, and show you how you can use the exact same example and then turn it into the type of report that you want to run and the type of data that you want to export. So first, we need to create a new recording. I'm just going to record the same thing what uh, the script is doing already but basically taking through the process. So first is I come here to script recording and playback and I need to just provide a file name where I'm going to you know, create the scripting. So I'm just going to call it sc16variant.vbs and I'm going to click on record. So now the recording has started. You can see this animation has started in the, in the background. We says script is running. Well, it's actually the script recording which is running, but it's all the same thing. So first I need to start the transaction. I like to start the transaction or just keep the habit of starting the transaction with slash n SE16. So if I happen to be in another transaction, when I start the script, it can, you know, jump out of that and start SE16. Otherwise we will get all sorts of errors. So SE16, you need to provide a table name. So again, I'm just going to use uh, Sierra Modred ADMH and uh, I use the variant button and I'm just going to select the first variant. So I'm keeping this example fairly simple. Um, while this might not be the first variant, the, the order, the variant, it changes. But again, well, we have to have some sort of assumptions in this code. So the assumption here is that the first variant is the one that we want to use. Uh, don't forget to change the uh, the width or the output size that you want to use. I just keep it simple so it, the, the report runs faster now. And I execute. And you know you have these options here from table entry. Uh, actually I forgot where it is. Oh it's here in download. But I just use the habit of uh, typing uh, percentage sign PC which starts the, the same you know save to local file export. I'm going to use unconverted format. Um, I use many of the other formats before and I've, uh, in some cases I've also used the functionality where you can export something directly to Excel, but uh, this worked the best for me so far. So I'm just like to stick with the unconverted format. So that's it. And I'm just going to specify my file name and sorry, the path and the file name. And keep in mind, if you're planning to use this report over and over, you, you can't click on generate because the file most probably already exists. So you just click on replace. So now it has created the file. If the file would have existed, then it just overwritten that. So we are fine now. And that's all it takes to do the recording. So now I can stop the recording and I can look at the recorded file. So it says SE16 variant and I just Send it to Microsoft Notepad. Oh, well, maybe I just click on edit. Yeah, that's fine. So this is how the recording looks like. And again, if you read the code, well, even though you don't really understand most of it, you can most probably make out what is really happening here. So it's maximizing the window, it's calling SE16, it's putting all uh, the table name here, and it's doing some stuff here like you know double click so that's pros probably when we selected the variant and then that would be the button when we press the execute button to run the report and that's where i put uh, percent pc to start the export here i have uh, provided my folder my file name and i finally i press you know okay to run the export and that's what got recorded and let's see how this all looks like in excel Going back to Excel, let's see what's happening here. So I'm pressing Alt F11 just to go into script, uh, the GUI scripting window. And I've also opened the modules and gone into module one because that's where all the code is. And here, I just like to highlight two constants, uh, like fixed values that I have set in the code, which is the temp, uh, sorry, the F path. So that's the folder where we are going to save all the files and the file name, which is going to be the default file name that we set in our program. You know, what file to create when we are exporting the data. 
and I have gone through this um, file or a very similar file more extensively in my first video so I'm just going to skip all that I just want to focus on the bits that you want to or you need to change in order you know for your script to do whatever you want it to do and let me just go the Rangui script method here so if I select that you can see that it's fairly simple and here in this block you see the exact same code or a very similar code what we have report uh, what we have recorded and then if I put the two side by side uh, by the way we'll just ignore this first bit we don't need that in the access so we only need these lines we start with session so if I just paste this piece of code here uh, I can't really make the two in the same screen but you can see this uh, that that's exactly the same what I have recorded earlier so and I haven't made any changes here the only change between basically this code my recording and my actual code which is already running that instead of having these fixed values like the ctemp and the crm I have replaced them with the constants that I have defined in the beginning of the program fpath and ffilename you don't even have to do that if you are just keeping the same file name and the path yeah it's all fine the only thing which is well due to the way i've written the program it's in the recording in the sap recording all these lines start with a session because that's how sap defined uh, the session object in the code but for me i have used a different name i've used this object session so whenever i reuse or basically paste in a code from SAP I just need to uh, replace the session with this object session so if I would do this and then I can you know even delete this part of code, the, uh, the code which was already in their file and that would just run you know absolutely fine it would run SC16 go to this table load the first variant and then export the values into uh, this folder and into this file name that's all you need to know to replace my code with your code which does SE16 or SE38 or you know SQ01 or query and exports any data into a local file and before we continue further I just want to highlight this uh, sub here in the code which, uh, start, which says start extract and that's the sub which is getting executed when you click on the button in Excel so when you click on this button and again this controls a few things so for example here we are setting what the system is the system and the client we need to connect to so in my case i'm playing with my development system which is called d10 and the client is 220 so here the w system is just d10 220 so obviously you need to uh, replace that unless you also have a d10 220 system 